What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got a new Moments card that EA just released and it is going to be Moments Goethe to review today and we all know, we all know why he has received this card right here so I don't really have to go through it. But the one thing I'm really surprised about is the skill move boost. They actually went ahead and gave this guy 5 star skill moves which we all know is amazing this year and that is straight up a W from EA because 5 star skill moves with the stats he has on that card, 94 pace, 96 dribbling, 92 shooting 95 passing and 84 physicals as well should be simply insane he is also a five foot nine player with high medium work rates five star skill moves as i said but also having a four star weak foot to his game as well now when it comes down to the chem style there is only one chem style that i feel like really really makes sense on this card and it is going to be the hawk chem style not because of the pace boost and not because of the physicality boost as well but because of the long shots you are giving this guy plus 10 long shots so it's going up to 93 long shots and he also has got the finesse shot trait as well and we all know those two together it's pretty much GG in this game. So yeah, that is the reason I have gone for the Hawk Chem style. So he has got 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. If you are thinking of playing this guy in a cam position, we all know the pace is more than enough. Now his shooting ability, he has got 99 attacking positioning, 98 finishing, 99 shot power, 93 long shots, 99 volleys with a 99 penalties as well. Yeah, he hasn't got a five star weak foot, but we all know him inside the box is going to be deadly. Now his passing ability, he has got 96 vision with 94 crossing, 82 free accuracy, 97 short passing, 93 long passing with a 93 curve. I am expecting his passing ability to be top tier as expected. Now his dribbling ability, he has got 90 agility, 95 balance, 95 reactions, 99 ball control, 96 dribbling with a 99 composure as well. Low key, you could go for the engine chem style if you really want to boost the agility and obviously boost the, like the long passing and all. But I just feel like the Hawk chem style is probably going to be the way to go because for a player that has those kind of dribbling stats with five star skill moves while also being five foot nine i feel like his dribbling is going to be top tier either way now his physicals he has got 81 jumping 91 stamina 91 strength and the 82 aggression as well a player that is five foot nine that's actually got 91 strength it's something you don't see very often but it is something you love to see now the defensive stats 82 interceptions and 80 defensive awareness now for me personally especially with how good like the shooting stats are and the dribbling and the pace and all i don't feel like he's going to be an amazing center mid i feel like if you're going to get this guy you're probably going to play him like a cam position or even a striker position or if you want to play him center mid you're probably going to play him like a 4-3-1-2 in like the left center mid position but for me personally i don't feel like he would be a top tier center mid defensively Simply because 52 standing tackling and like 66 slide tackling isn't really anything to really talk about. So yeah, I'm going to personally play in this guy in a cam position and a strike position in a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1. But look at the links you get around this guy. There's not many. Yeah, the Germany, you know, nationality is pretty good for links in this game. But for me personally, I've literally only got Kimmich and Royce. And obviously Neuer as well. But he's obviously not going to link to Neuer. So I literally had to go for icons around him. R9, Vieira and Desai just to get him on full chemistry. I already told you guys which positions I'm going to be playing this guy in. So let's get into the games. Tell me that. Well played. Goethe actually making a run there. He is playing in a cam position. That is where we're going to be starting him off. And it does look like he wants to play in a strike position right now. There you go. We play the ball down. I'm going to pass it into the middle. He makes a run going up. We go for the scoot turn. But Virgil van Dijk, team of the year card, is going to put in a tackle. Dummy that. Well played. Gertz are coming short, which is always nice to see. Good use of pace. Good turn as well. Good footwork. Oh, my God. Those little precise touches. Look at the pace on the card. Pass it back. Royce touched towards the near post and we should be getting ourselves a guaranteed goal. The pace from Goetzer, by the way, to go through that gap, absolutely insane. And it was quite simple after that. Give it to the middle. Well played. Nice turn. That's an insanely good turn. Nah, it's actually going to go wrong. We probably should have took our time. I didn't expect to get past Virgil van Dijk, though, that easy. And that's the only reason I felt like I rushed the shot in that occasion right there. But we have... Nah, I tried to go for a reverse flip-flap, but it didn't really work out. Bring it forward, Kimmich. There you go. Give it to him here. Well played. Oh my god, he's done so well to actually get in front of him. Keep going. No, he's actually going to tackle on the other side of me. Is Goethe going to give me a passing option here? 
I am noticing, by the way, while playing him in a cam position, he is very, very aggressive. Like, he likes to be in the inside the box a lot of the times, but no way he misses that. I was literally about to say, I don't mind him being inside the box because he can do stuff like this. And then he goes ahead and misses the opportunity. Come on, that would have been perfect as well. Ball roll up. Give it to Vieira. Give it to R9. Well played. Goethe trying to make that movement. He realizes there's no open space. He's going to try to give me a passing option, which is really good from him. Is he going to cut back there? No, he's not. You see what I mean about his movement in the cam position? Like, he really does like to get inside the box. And you can see that he's kind of an, like a, an aggressive cam. Not super aggressive, like a Bruno Fernandes, but still quite aggressive. Give it to Vieira. Bull roll that. Nice movement from him just to give me that passing option. Good turn as well. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, that's beautiful. That's dirty. That is dirty. We acted like we was going to go for that cutback. Completely sent, I believe. Was it Kempembe? I think it was Kempembe for Hot Dog. We get the turn. We get the goal. We get the rage quit. Good footwork. Nice turn. He has this like acceleration touch that I'm noticing. Like every single time I go forward a little bit, he has like a really good acceleration with it, which allows me to kind of continue going in a way and try to create obviously another angle really quickly. Goethe, keep going forward. Ball roll. Fake shot. Fake shot again. You know what? We're going to go for the switch and it is going to be a very good switch. But those kind of switches, you know, you're kind of expecting. They're quite simple to actually do. One thing I do like about him though, he got back into the middle really quickly. Fake shot around the corner. Are we going to get the goal? My God, that fake shot. That fake shot was insanely fast. It didn't really allow my opponent to kind of react towards it and get like a body in a way. Pretty much after that fake shot, it was GG. We was going to score. Looking at making that run going up. Should we go for it? We're going to go for it. That's rude. Now, every single time, every time we go for a chip and the keeper's pretty much still on the line, it ends up hitting crossbar. Like, come on, man. Give me one of those goals. Turn that. Nice. Good touch as well. Great fake shot around the corner. Keep it going. Look at this, bro. I'm telling you guys, this guy's no joke when it comes down to the pace. Great turns as well. I didn't mean to take that touch. That was obviously me. But we move. You can clearly see how fast this guy actually is, though. Like, I literally ran from one side of the pitch all the way to the other. And he was just beating players for fun. Can I get a goal? First time shot. Oh, that would have been a finish and a half. Nice turn on iron. Well played. Fake shot that. Give it through the gap. Ball roll. Go round that player. Go for the finesse shot. The keeper isn't even going to move. And we end up getting ourselves the goal. My God, the finish was literally placed straight into the corner. And this guy pretty much just turned off his console. Tell me that. Nice. Tevez to Goetzer. Keep it going. Flick around the corner. That's perfect. And we should get a goal. And as you clearly can see, bottom right corner, I completely missed my analog stick and actually hit the D-pad. And it came up with like the offside kind of trap thing. But hey, we still got the goal either way. That's a good turn. Referee. I was about to say, if that's not a foul, I really don't know what it is. But hey, how far is this? That's the real question because I'm kind of thinking to go for a shot here. It would have been 27 yards out. You know what? 27 yards out ain't actually too bad it definitely is scrollable now it kind of depends if it goes post and in if it's gonna go in come on it's gonna be yellow timed it was going towards the top bins but i really doubt it's gonna go in against a keeper like o black to the middle turn give it to r9 well played good fake shot nice little turn as well fake shot around the corner see if i can i've completely completely screwed up this opportunity can we oh my god the keepers actually i screwed that up like opportunity so badly i could have literally just gone for a turn then instantly shot but i over I apparently want to overdo it tried to create myself an angle which was kind of impossible to create but i eventually did it and the keeper pulls out a crazy save again see if he can pass this up go for that dummy continue to go forward go for a turn there see if i can spin this player inside out i've done well no, and then I don't even know what kind of shot what that was, to be fair. For me, that low key should be going in because he's got good composure. He has good strength to hold off that defender as well. I really don't know what, 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 what like kind of went wrong there because I did so well to create the angle for him. Touch. Well played. Good fake shot as well. Fake shot again. Cut into the inside. I see an LBY all the way to the other side. And look how perfect 
that pass is actually going to be. And can we go ahead and score with it? Is that him again? Oh, he's actually got into the middle really quickly. Now nah, we tried to go for the finesse shot, but the, but the defender actually put a block in. Hey, the pass either way though was top tier, and especially with that weaker foot as well. Just chip it over him. There you go. Touch. Shield. Good turn. Give it to R9. Just keep it going. Bill roll. Hit it into the near post. And we are actually going to come out of the goal as well. It was a really good touch and turn from him because he actually used his strength to kind of hold off the player for a certain period of time and actually allowed him to turn that player. Go, Vieira. There's a through ball there. Oh, my. I think that actually went through his legs. I kind of feel bad for this guy. But let's see if we can. Nah. Oh, maybe. There you go. That's the angle I wanted. There. He misses it. He misses it because he's kind of off balance there. That is annoying. I've seen that in multiple occasions now from him. Like, because it's a little bit off balance on the angle, he doesn't hit it towards the target. And for me, for a player that's got, you know, his kind of finishing ability and all, I do definitely feel like that kind of thing should be going in. But he's made a good run there. See if I can. Oh my God, we squeezed out. We squeezed out. Keep it going. Referee, sort him out. Sort him out. You know what? Tight angle. Keeper pulls out save. Give it to his feet. Well played. Good touch and turn as well. Fake shot. I, oh, that is beautiful, man. The way he keeps that ball, by the way, close to his feet while doing those turns allows me to kind of trick my opponent into thinking I'm going to go one way, then instantly go the other way. We end up getting himself an assist and we end up getting another rage quit as well. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Goethe. We actually came out with four goals and we even came out with three assists as well. And that's something you don't see very often. You know, usually it's like one assist, maybe two assists, but three assists. Now, that's usually pushing it. Now, one thing that you usually see more often is goals. We only scored four goals. Usually, it's seven minimum, you know? But I don't know what to say. The amount of chances this guy was missing was just unacceptable in certain angles. I thought there was angles I gave this guy that it was pretty much like 100% going to go in. And it ended up just missing the whole target on that four-star week. And it's disappointing to see because I thought it was going to go in. It didn't. We move. We scored four goals in three games. It's still pretty decent. Now, when it comes down to the price for the card, 200k. 200k for this card right here is a very, very nice price. I understand the league obviously isn't the greatest. And I must admit, if EA put this card for like 300k, I would honestly say it's not worth it because of the league. But because it's 200k, 100k cheaper than what I just said, it does kind of make it worth it saying that this guy gives you the five star skill moves, the four star weak foot, the dribbling he has, the pace he has and the passing he has as well. He is a very nice all rounded card and his ability is definitely worth 200k. It's just I feel like a lot of people are probably going to push this card to a side because of the league he plays in, which is 100% understandable. But let's get into the ratings. Pace wise, you saw the pace he was providing for me out there. It was absolutely insane. So for the pace, I would say would a Hawk Hem style. You know what? I'll probably say like a 10 out of 10. He deserves it. He was insanely, insanely fast. So yeah, for the pace, a 10 out of 10. Shooting ability. This is where I thought I was going to be sitting here giving him like a, a 9.6, a 9.7 out of 10 for the shooting. But I must admit, I can't do it to myself. I really can't because what he showed me today just shows that those shooting stats that he's got on that card right there is just a simple lie. So for the shooting, I would say a 9.1 out of 10. That's how far I'm actually going to drop it. Now, his passing ability is something you can definitely rely on. His passing ability, yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely top tier. You pass to the left, it's going to get there. You pass to the right, it's going to get there. You can really rely on him when it comes down to the passing ability. So for passing, I would say a 9.6 out of 10. Dribbling ability. He felt really good on the ball, especially with those five-star skills as well. But one thing I will say is he feels nothing like a, a Neymar or even like an Mbappe or even like a, a nanny team of the season. Nowhere near those kind of players. So for the dribbling, I would say, I'd probably say like a 9.5 out of 10. And for the physicals, I did enjoy his strength. But I'm going to be honest, I didn't feel like it was 91. I really didn't. Because there were certain situations that I got him in, which I feel like the defender just got in front of this guy and just completely pushed him out of the way. And it, it was a little bit awkward because I did feel like he would put up a better fight with obviously the 91 strength he's actually got. But I feel like it's that 82 aggression that does make him feel a little bit weaker than what he actually is. So for the physicals, I would say... I would say like an 8.5, an 8.5, 8.6, like straight up, they, I don't feel like he has 91 strength. He's got a strength to his game, but not 91. But an overall rating out of 10 for this moment's Goethe card, 
Oh, he's a nice card, man. He is a very nice card. And his movement as well in that cam position is top, top tier. So I would say... I've already said like a 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. I feel like he is 100%, 100% up there. Like he's got a lot to provide in game for you. That dribbling, that pace, that passing, the physicality is good. And obviously the shooting is not what we expected, but it's still very good. With the movement, with the five star skill moves as well, I would say a 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.